Well, hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Eclipse for Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. First step is to uh, assure that you have the Java runtime environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, we're going to find that program at java.com. What you do is you go to java.com and you can just download the Java runtime environment. Once you uh, install the Java runtime environment, you're ready to you're ready to uh, install Eclipse. So what I do is you just go to eclipse.org under download section, and uh, either of these IDEs should work. Um, if you press for space, I'd go for the 92 megabyte version. You click on that, and usually a bunch of random uh, university links will pop up here, and you can just click either one of them, and uh, you should get a download, and you just save it to a desired location. I saved mine earlier to the document section, and it's a zip file. So what you do is you just unzip it. Make absolutely sure before you run it that you have the uh, Java runtime environment installed and running. Alright, now that we have that, let's go into Eclipse and it's already ready to run. So you just uh, you can just double click the executable or create a shortcut on your desktop for convenience, whichever. So uh, the first thing that should pop up is uh, selecting a workspace. Um, I'll just typically go with this workspace right here, but you can set up uh, a workspace on another, on wherever uh, you feel comfortable setting it up, and it, it'll store all your Java projects and stuff in there. So I'm just going to go with the uh, default. Go OK. The first thing that should pop up is this uh, welcome uh, screen with a few options on it. We're just going to click on workspace. And from there, we're going to go file, go to file, go to new Java project. And the, the project name I'm just going to call redemption mods. Mods. Finish. And then click on finish button down here. Now from here, you right click, right click on the, the project name, Redemption Mods, and go to Properties. What we want to do is we want to set up the compiler so that it's compatible with Redemption. So the first thing we do, we go Java Compiler, and then from here, from JDK Compliance, use Compliance from Execution Environment. Well, let's unclick that option. And this drop down menu should be enabled. Now you can just choose 1.3 from that list, and it will change the dot class compatibility to 1.1 down here, and that should be compatible with Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. So you just click on Apply, and this pop-up should pop up here. You click Yes to that, and just go OK. We're ready to put some uh, uh, Nod SDK source scripts in here that we need to derive. Um, that we need to derive any of our Java projects to so we can get it to to run in the game. So the first thing we do now is we go to the Vampire of the Masquerade Redemption folder, go under Codex, under System, and in here we can select all of these systems, select all of them. Right click, copy, 
and from there I will go into workspace and in workspace you have the redemption mods and in, I'll put it in SRC and paste it in there now that we have all of the uh, major source code here we need to refresh this project and you should see all of the system stuff in here um, I got I got one script here that has errors in it let's uh, open that up and fix those errors apparently um, this particular IDE does not like the fact that the local variable str type may not have been initialized so what we want to do is want to initialize it to do that we just uh, go up to where this was declared and just have it equal an empty string and then go save and what that does is uh, it gets rid of that error so we shouldn't have any more errors we just have warnings and to test to make sure um, that that we can in fact mod the game with this um, I'm going to take an existing uh, an existing discipline and modify it just a basic mod what I'm going to do is when this is cast I'm just going to have it uh, codex console print I'm going to have it print uh, I'm going to have it print to the server and the message will be uh, Eclipse altered this script. And this is going to print and console. Let's make sure we add a semicolon at the end of that. And then we just save it. And we modified it the blood healing, which is a common discipline by vampires. So um, now we're just going to go in to the workspace here and when we go into bin we now have class files so what we're gonna do is in these class files I'm gonna find the blood healing and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go into the codex here into the codex root and I'm gonna paste it in there and there's our, our uh, class file so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the game and test this out. Alright, so now I'm just going to go to multiplayer LAN. Uh, and I'll test out my Javo character here. Create a game, Princess Mansion. I'm going to press H, go to Blood Healing, and I'm going to cast it. Oh, it's already at full health, so let me damage myself here. Um, let me have something attack me. Alright, look at that. Eclipse altered this script. So that means it works. So, Eclipse is, in fact, compatible with modding Redemption. So, have fun with doing some JavaScripting. Signing out.